What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. You got uh, Justin Jefferson at four. Mr. 4TD game himself, Justin Jefferson. And uh, I'll just say, I think the biggest, I'm not going to say question mark, but just questions is in this draft is around all those LSU players. And I'm talking about even Jamar Chase. Like I'm just, listen, I, I've taken some heat on Twitter. All I'm saying is these same guys were there in 2018 and they didn't do a fraction of what happened in 2019 when Joe Brady got there. So could Jefferson be a product of that Joe Brady offense? Could Burrow, could Clyde, could Jamar Chase, Thad Moss, Terrace Marshall? If you're not asking the question, I think you're being too naive. I'm not saying you need to believe that's true, but there, that is a question, but, but, the, the reason why I'm so high on Jefferson is it wasn't just 2019. In 2018, if you look at his age-adjusted production, I mean, he commanded the highest market share of receiving yards and receptions on that team as a true sophomore after doing jack crap as a freshman, right? right. I think he had, didn't even register a counting stat as a freshman, and then he has over 50 receptions and 800-something yards as a true sophomore, and again, hit those analytical thresholds from a market share production. So he did show that he could be productive uh, without being on the greatest offense we've ever seen in college football. But what did he do? 1,500 receiving yards, 111 receptions, 18 TDs. I mean, he was just Mr. Reliable for Joe Burrow. And uh, I think he is one of the safest wide receivers in this class. I just think that wherever he goes, you're looking at he's got a solid floor with massive upside. I think he's just a safe, good wide receiver. He's going to be good in the real football for an NFL club, and he's going to be good for your fantasy team. Yeah, and, I mean, and then a lot of the people question his athleticism, right? Like, how athletic is he? And then he went out there and completely wrecked the combine. Blew it up. Uh, when he ran a four, four, two, four, four, I, I had no clue because he was timed coming out of high school. He had a verified forty time, verified at four eight eight. That's what. I, so for me, I was hoping a four six. I was like, if he runs a four six, that's solid. He'll be a second round pick. Then he runs four four two, and I was like, shit. I mean, yeah. he's not falling out of the first now. Right. I got him up uh, at, at three, uh, a little higher, because of what you said. I, I feel like him and Judy are just really safe. They really project well at the next level for what the NFL is. Both of them can play. Uh, Jefferson can play in the slot. And then, like you said, in 18, he played in the slot some, but he played a lot more outside. And, you know, he, he had some decent success. Were there times where he struggled uh, getting off some jams here or there? But for the most part, he was – pretty good playing outside so he can do both and he's probably going to fit a little bit more in the slot at the next level he absolutely just crushed the slot um in college and lsu and yeah we spent a lot of time last week talking with matt waldman just about you know grading players when they're in, you know, how you take into account the all these different situations um of you know where you play like if you're at alabama or lsu or ohio state and your offensive line's good and all the skill position players are good and um, I know uh, Waldman really likes this guy uh, in Jefferson, and I think I think he's just super safe. So I would I'd move him up a spot at three. Um, Jay Wayne, yeah, I got him right here at four. Uh, I think I think like everything you guys said, he seems pretty safe. I think the slot position is is kind of on the up in the NFL. You're starting to see a lot more dynamic players coming into that position, you know, like we were, we were huge Doug Baldwin's fans for forever. Obviously Julian Edelman's are doing his thing. Cooper cup is out there scoring mad touchdowns. Jarvis. We love Jarvis probably more than anybody. Um, so, I mean, I think that, that, that he, he's a, he's a safe technician that, that, that can come in there with a, with a strong floor, like you said, Ray, but then also a big upside. I mean, he's, he was charted PFF had him Ridiculous forced, after the catch, had him forced 25 missed tackles, which was like fourth most, in the nation, average 6.4 yards after the catch per reception. 
um, but was number one in the nation in slot yards and receptions. Ha- didn't didn't drop a ton of balls compared to how many targets he was thrown. He's just he's so amazing on those option routes. He just lulls you to sleep, and then it's just sudden and quick after being patient. It's just he checks pretty much a lot of the boxes. The only thing is, you know, can he get off the press? Can he play play physical? But they, they PFF charted him with ninety three point one percent contested catch rate, which was the best in the nation. Which I was pretty surprised to see that, but I mean, I can't. I mean, that's that's a good stat right there. Yeah, and and for me, he really play style and comps. Like I don't when I make comps, a lot of people it's like high end shit, right? Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins. Like I see Jefferson as like a probably a more he is a more explosive version of Tyler Boyd, and Tyler Boyd is just that safe wide receiver at the next level. Like he's a wide receiver two, with wide receiver one upside. And this whole thing about like the slot being a down, like NFL teams are drafting corners who specialize in the slot because the slot position is so damn dangerous Crushing. because right. you don't have to, you can't press them. They're off the line. Right. And Waldman, one of his lines was you don't go to the hardware store, buy a hammer and try to use it as a screwdriver. Let him fucking let him play in the slot, man. I right. mean, you, you got a <laughs> yeah. slot receipt. He, yes, he can play outside, but he's lethal when he's in there and he can run those option routes and he can use his technique. But he really reminds me of a juiced up version of Tyler Boyd, who I absolutely love, love, love. Love it, man. That's where I'm at. I like him. Like I said, I like him a little higher because he's safer. And I think there's a decent ceiling, a pretty good ceiling built in there. 